Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be some. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here. Um, I meant to do a Beatles um, ranking the Beatles albums, um, the Beatles U.S. albums. Um, I meant to do it. I was going to try to um, compile it, you know, make a list, and unfortunately it didn't. Uh, the idea and all that. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit later, so I'll definitely be doing that um, at some point, and hopefully be doing the first. Um, my first review of um, the debut album, Bob Dylan. Um, so don't worry, don't panic, it will come, it will come. But anyways, um, like I said, uh, I'm gonna be something a little bit different here. Um, I never really touched ground on progressive rock um, artists or um, stuff that I have in my collection. So on this video today, I'm gonna be doing a, um, pro uh, in my collection, CD collection, of progressive rock bands. CDs, and um, so yeah, um, I couldn't find, I know we had, um, my brother had it, and it's somewhere, and I couldn't find it anywhere. It's um, Fragile by Yes, and I wasn't able to find it. Um, we have it on vinyl. Uh, I think it's the original version of um, Fragile, the original issue of it. So um, unfortunately, you know. So these are just a few of um, a progressive rock CDs I have in my collection um, showing you right now. So um, the first one that I've uh, found was actually an old um, CD that my dad had actually back in the day. And it's the best of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Um, this is from 1994 and um, has some of their greatest songs like From the Beginning, um, Trilogy, um, Lucky Man, oh great stuff. Um, this was a Rhino um, release, I believe, and I think they show the albums, right? Or where they were from, I think? No. That's uh, just just a basic, you know, can give a whole lot of information, but... Um, anyways, um, we had the album Tarkus. We have that on, on vinyl, actually, too. Um, but, I mean, it's not a CD, so this is, you know, in this video, it's mostly just CDs here, Progressive Rock. And um, this is um, the best of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Really great stuff on this, by the way. And there's another um, older CD, I believe, as well. Actually, um, let me find that really quick. I'm sorry, folks. I had to pause that to look for the CD. But um, really, they're kind of like the um, prototype, I guess, if you will, the inventors. Or I don't know if you would say inventors. But really, you know, at that time, in 1967, you had uh, you know Pink Floyd, really. But it also had this band, too, as well. Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues from 1967. This one is really, really good. I mean, some people, like, you know, it's really oh, gorgeous. I mean, especially at the end with Nights in White Satin. I love that ending. Um, it's called The Night, Nights in White Satin. This is such a greatest conclusion of... Um, as you can tell, this is a very old CD. Um, I think this was from the 80s, I think, or whatever. Um, anyways, Days of Future Past. Um, the next one I have here is... Uh, it's the Two Furs here. And um, this is another really, really great progressive rock band. I mean, everybody. I think everybody that are, are you know, hardcore fans of progressive rock is definitely big. That definitely know this is for sure this is the one and it's um, their debut album and their second album the sophomore album quarrying the taste gentle giant um this is from 1970 1971. Um, i never really heard both of these albums but i'm really hoping to do a video on how well these these guys are because i know um in a glass house i definitely know that album and a free hand and many, many of their other later albums, or Chrysalis albums, I guess if you will, there's another set where you can get um, from Freehand all the way to, I think, uh, Society, I think it's called, from 1980. But anyways, um, I mean, if you are such a big, you know, if any of you, you know, watching this now, I mean, you should get this. This is a twofer, uh, I think it's just like, comes in two CDs, I think. And it's just, you know, their debut and... Um, and, you know, if I do listen to the debut Foley, I might actually do a review on it. <laughs> a review or some sort of, you know, a reaction, I guess, if you will. Uh, not a reaction video, but kind of like a, um, overall, like how I, you know, how good it is. Like, you know, 
But anyways, I'll love to do a video on Gentle Giant, at least a separate video. And then I got their second and third album called Three Friends and Octopus um, from 72 and 1973. Um, these I never really heard of. Um, I really love to listen to this whole thing. Um, obviously, these songs are very, uh, you know, they don't have as much songs, but I mean, I guess there's a good amount of songs on here, but um, I love these too. I love the, the slip case. It's got the slip thing here. And it's got the, uh, you know, you got the three friends here, and then you got the uh, octopus. Actually, you know what? You can actually switch the, uh, the thing there, see? So you can have it. So if you want the three friends on the front, you can switch it. So that's kind of cool. And then this is kind of like the CD. Kind of looks a little, you know, bland, but, but the music is not. <laughs> of course, in my taste of progressive rock, I love Gentle Giant. Now we get to, uh, before I get to the other two CDs, I actually bought this last year. And it's, um, for some reason in this box set, it did not, it did not come with these, uh, these three albums, like they didn't have these uh, three albums or whatever, but they had, um, I think in 2007, they had um, separate box sets of their careers or whatever, and they're so expensive. It's the Genesis box sets, you know, the 1970 to 1975 or whatever. These are actually from, I think the early 90s or mid 90s from Virgin, and it's uh, Genesis. Um, there's two of these, but when I got this, it did not have these and in fact um, they combine these two because you know Lamb Like It's Down Broadway is a double album and I guess it's like a big two disc thing and you know this is just a single here but what I did get is um, really as they uh, I guess um, the the band members they uh, I don't know if they say they think that this isn't like their first album but or technically it is like their first debut, even though Genesis to Revelation is like their first album, but they don't, you know, they don't think it is for some reason. And they don't think this isn't their debut, but this is, uh, to me, I think, and anybody, you know, their whole discography, you know, they technically have this as their first album, Trespass. And they're all um, digitally remastered, I believe. And this is their second album, uh, Nursery Crime. And of course, Foxtrot. Oh man, what a great album. And I love the last song on here. Supper's Ready. Are you kidding me? Great. Just, oh man. It's a bit slow, you know? I mean, whatever. It's just slow. It's slow. It's like, we pass that and it's beautiful. Just gorgeous. It's got that Yes vibe. It's got that uh, Tales from Topographic Ocean feel. So I thought that was kind of cool, this. So I got pretty much the whole Peter Gabriel, you know, era there, because I also got to separately the, um, you know, uh, the masterpiece of um, uh, Selling England by the Pound. I love this album, it's great. And this one for some reason is a bit slow, but I love, I still respect this album so much. And we have this on LP too as well. Um, the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, the very last Peter Gabriel studio album. And I really loved um, Trick from the, a, Trick from, a Trick from the Tale and also um, Then There Were Three, I believe. But um, I never was like a, uh, until like Duke. Duke was probably like the greatest until, you know, Abbott Cab and that kind of went off the road. They kind of went a little bit poppy, a little bit, you know. Even though Duke was kind of like the first to kind of have that, you know, it may be like their last album of the 70s. I forgot what it was. I think it was in there were three, the Follow Me, Follow You. But anyways, folks, that, that, that's just um, a good handful of CDs that I have in my, uh, progressive rock CDs that I have in my collection. Um, I'm hoping to get, you know, more and more, you know, especially Gentle Giant. I really want to get the Chrysalis years. They, they have that, you know, around somewhere. Hey, you know, I'm really hoping to um, listen to definitely and do a whole just video on Gentle Giant because I love Gentle Giant. They're absolutely just genius, masterful, and very avant-garde. Just I love that avant-garde feel to that band, you know, and they're so important too as well. But anyways, guys, um, thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Take care. See you next time.